itself a triangle. So, why do we need to discuss the properties? Kasi magagamit po natin siya dito. Okay? So, parts of a triangle. So, pag sinabi natin parts of a triangle, in geometry, a triangle is a close two-dimensional shape with three straight sides and it is also a polygon. Okay? So, a triangle has three sides, three vertices, and three angles. So, para masabi natin triangle siya, dapat meron siyang three vertices, three sides, and three angles. Okay. So, isa-isahin natin yun. So, hanapin natin alin ba dito ang sides, angles, and vertices of a triangle. Okay, pag sinabi natin sides of a triangle, so we have three sides of a triangle. So, we have uh, side AB, side BC, and side AC. Or pwede rin namang segment AB, BC, and AC. Okay, for the angles, we have three angles. We have angle A, angle B, and angle C. And then for vertices, pag sinabi natin vertices, ito yung point. Okay? Ito siya. So, we have point A, point B, and point C. So, those are the vertices. Now, how do we name an ang a triangle? Paano ba natin pinapangalanan ang triangle? Using its vertices. So, ano-ano ba yung mga vertices ng triangle natin? We have point A, point B, point C. So, therefore, this triangle is named as triangle ABC. Pwede ba siyang tawagin triangle ACB? Yes. Okay. Pwede ba siya tawagin triangle BAC? Pwede rin po. Kasi ang sabi, to name an angle, we are using those three vertices. Okay. So, kahit ano naman po siyan, ACB, this is triangle ABC, triangle CBA, kahit ano po doon. Okay, let's talk about correspondence. Okay, so speaking mathematically, the symbol for correspondence 2 is this one. Ito yung meron siyang dalawang arrowheads. Okay, so yun po ang symbol ng correspondence natin. So, ibig sabihin yan, it corresponds to, yun po ang basa dyan, pag meron tayong ganitong symbol. Okay, so halimbawa, segment EB corresponds to segment DE. So, dito... Line segment AB corresponds to line segment DE. So, ayan po siya. Another, this is read as angle A corresponds to angle D. So, dapat alam natin kung paano po babasahin ang symbol na to. Now, um, makuko, uh, malilito ba kayo kung um, itong symbol na to, ay basahin nating line. So, angle A is line to angle B. Hindi po. Bakit? Kasi po ito, kung line ito, dapat dito siya sa taas na kalagay. Okay? But since nandito siya in between two angles or in between two segments, ibig sabihin, this symbol is referring to correspondence. Okay? Kung nandito yan sa taas, that means a line. Okay. So, I have here two triangles. Now, this two, two triangles, uh, triangle ABC, is congruent daw po to triangle DEF. Okay? Which also corresponds that triangle ABC in symbol is congruent to triangle DEF. Now, paano ba natin malalaman that these two, tri two triangles are congruent? Okay? So, dito natin ipapasok yung Magro-rotate tayo. So, kailangan, i-rotate natin siya. Or, if you want, you may flip, you may slide, you may slide, pwede rin po yun. So, ako, ang gagamitin natin, ako, i-rotate ko siya hanggang sa mag-overlap sila. Okay? Kailangan, ma-prove natin na these two triangles are congruent. So, paano natin malalaman na congruent sila? Okay? So, i-flip natin. Hanggang sa mag-overlap. Okay. So, malapit na. So, eto na po. And that's it. Okay. So, we have now triangle ABC and triangle DEF. 